We've made tremendous advances in how we treat patients who already have cancer diagnosed over the last 10 years. But in order to make the next really big leap, we need to be able to catch cancers earlier. The Center for Innovation and Early Cancer Detection jumps on that opportunity, the opportunity to intercept and intervene early in the course of the cancer developing. The early detection of lung cancer is based on the interpretation of chest CT scans, computer tomography, or CAT scans, all the same thing. And what has been shown is that you do better in terms of both overall survival and cancer-specific survival if you undergo chest CT scans once you meet certain risk criteria. The current guidelines for lung cancer screening only take into account two factors, how old you are and how much you smoked. But we know that those guidelines miss a lot of people. Right now, we're screening smokers because they are at higher risk for developing lung cancer. But we also know that the fastest growing group of lung cancer patients are non-smokers. I think one of the things that can really propel early detection forward and help advances come more quickly to the bedside is by changing our understanding of who's at risk. One of the great things about Mass General is really this ability to do interdisciplinary research. So I'm an epidemiologist, but I work with radiologists, medical oncologists, surgical oncologists, biostatisticians, decision scientists, um, you name it. When I'm in clinic and I'm seeing patients, I'm constantly calling or emailing or reaching out to my colleagues so that we can all come to a consensus together about what might be best for them. And I think that allows us to really go into these research projects together as a united team in a way that's very special. One that's really exciting that I'm working on and leading with uh, Dr. Alicia Sequest is called the Fire Health Study. Here at the MGH Cancer Center, we've been partnering with the Boston Fire Department and several other regional associations to not only offer cancer screening to firefighters who are really concerned about their personal risk of potentially getting diagnosed with cancers, uh, but also to study and to collaborate with the firefighters so that in the future, we can come up with more evidence-based guidelines for how to screen firefighters for cancer. Though we're focused on a you know specific population of firefighters, it's proof of concept, right? It says, Perhaps there are other exposures, in this case, potentially occupational exposures, that we really should be considering um, when we identify who's high risk and who should receive screening. Some people are paying out of pocket because they are personally concerned about their risk, but not everyone can do that, right? So I see it as, a, as an equity issue. And so as our field grows, as we're able to detect cancer earlier, how do we ensure that um, all populations benefit from these advancements in science? I told you that I'm going to get a lollipop after this. So oh, okay. No, but you're going to get a really nice Band-Aid. A really nice Band-Aid? Okay. There's a technology explosion in medical devices and medical capabilities. And so we're really trying to take advantage of this exciting time in technology development to apply these new technology strategies to the problem of finding cancer early. With the firefighter project as an example, it, it's been a very close collaboration between myself as a medical oncologist and Dr. Erica Warner as a cancer epidemiologist. And our key partners in this work are also the radiologists who are looking at the scan, such as Dr. Joanne Shepard and Dr. Amita Sharma from Thoracic Imaging. The level of detail that can be appreciated on imaging at this stage in the development of the technology is really astounding. Knowing what to do with that information, that's where the value of the team comes to bear. Having the ability to leverage more advanced computing techniques to then tease out what is the most relevant bit of information that maybe our human brain cannot even process yet. That is the, the ultimate iteration and the next step of really making the most sense of this information. That was easy. It was? Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, she sure did. Especially during the pandemic, when you know we've been first responders, they've been first responders. We've kind of all been through really hard couple of years, and letting them know that we care about them, we care about their future, and we care about the health of the firefighters coming up behind them. We want to change things for the future, and. Uh, being able to connect with our community in this way has really been uh, the experience of, of a career. Being a cancer epidemiologist, um, what I hope to accomplish is to do research that helps us better understand um, who gets cancer and why, and potentially how to prevent it or detect it earlier, um, to try and build upon those findings and actually um, change people's lives. The role MGH plays in the wider Boston community, in my mind, cannot be understated. I think we're all united in the aspect that we want to do the best every day and we, we, we focus on that. And looking over your left shoulder and your right shoulder, you, you'll find people who are focused on that exact same thing, do the best you can that day. And over the years, you know, great things happen.